Windows 10 Creators Update has been released for over a good month now, and a lot of people are benchmarking the update versus the previous version, the anniversary update, and finding that there's pretty much no difference, or they're getting better results on the previous update. However, they are testing on high-powered machines. Today I'm going to be testing the Creators Update on my semi-potato laptop, and the results may surprise you. Welcome back to Tech City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with the Creators Update comparison with game mode turned on versus game mode disabled versus the previous anniversary update edition. So I'm doing three benchmarks across three different games on my medium spec laptop. Now this laptop includes a four core, eight threaded CPU, which is clocked at around 2.8 gigahertz and it's on the Haswell architecture. The GPU is also quite fairly old. It is a GTX 860M with two gigabytes of VRAM on board. And now the three games that we are testing are GTA 5, Dota 2 and CSGO. And now with the Windows 10 Creators update, which was released in April last month, it brought a lot of issues where people were having a lot of problems, myself included. However, I recently did an optimization guide where you can enhance the performance and also eliminate a lot of the problems. I'll put the link in the description or up here for your ease of use. And also with that being said, the creators update introduced a new mode called game mode where a lot of people liked it or they disliked it. And a lot of people who liked it said the gaming felt smoother especially on an outdated machine such as my laptop here. And now with Windows Game Mode in the Creators Update Edition, to turn this on you just hold the Windows key and press G and then go to the mechanical wheel and then you can turn Windows Game Mode on. For any different game, especially AAA titles, this will definitely work. And now digging straight into the FPS figures in CSGO and I used a community made benchmark map. So this is completely apples to apples and with game mode turned on, we scored 150 average FPS with a minimum of 14. Comparing that to game mode disabled with also game DVR disabled in the creators update, we scored 142 average FPS with a minimum of 14. And then looking at the anniversary update edition with game DVR disabled, we scored 154 average with a minimum of 15. So it looks like in this CSGO benchmark, the anniversary update did score a victory for raw FPS. And now looking at Dota 2, where I went middle on all three occasions and I did benchmark this numerous times with the character Luna. And with game mode turned on, I scored 124 average FPS with 117 minimum. And with game mode turned off, I scored 116 average with a 110 minimum. And the anniversary update edition scored a 118 with a minimum of 111 FPS. So it looks like in Dota 2, game mode turned on did score the victory. And then the last game we have up here is GTA 5. With game mode turned on, we scored 108 average FPS with a minimum of 103. With game mode turned off, we scored 106 average FPS with a minimum of 100. And then the anniversary update, we got 109 and 103 minimum. So the raw FPS figures show that with this laptop, which is more sensitive than a high-end desktop gaming PC, there was no big differences between the creator's update with game mode turned on versus the anniversary edition, which was tweaked. However, the one thing that came out of the raw FPS numbers is that having the creators update with game mode and game DVR disabled scored the worst out of all three. So now this is where things get really interesting. I've heard a lot of people in the comments say that game mode turned on, especially on an older computer, gave them a better or a smoother experience than the other two options I've displayed here today. And I have to agree after playing games on this laptop with game mode turned on, especially GTA 5. When I started looking at all the individual frame times, we could see that game mode turned on did indeed provide the smoothest experience. And then we started looking at Dota 2 and CSGO and they weren't much of a difference in those two games, but it did still feel smoother in all three games that I tested. And this is something that ironically enough, the 0.1% and 1% lows wouldn't have pointed out as they would have actually have shown that the anniversary edition scored the best in all three examples. So anyway, guys, that's what the creator's update can do in my opinion. It does give the smoothest experience. 
And it's an experience like this that my old potato PC is going to be happy with. Though with high-end desktop gaming PCs, I'm sure it wouldn't make that much of a difference. Though if you are on an older PC or if you are on a laptop, then game mode can definitely help out and give you a smoother experience in my opinion, or at least in the testing that I've done here today. Anyway guys, would love to read your comments as always. Let me know in the comment section below if you've tried the Creators 10 update, if so, if you've had problems, if you haven't, or if you have had a smoother experience on it. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.